walk through these doors and you lift your hands to pray, I want you to remember that you are talking to almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful God, the creator of heaven and earth. The blast of his nostrils can split the cedars of Lebanon. He holds the seven seas in the palms of his hand. He weighs the mountains in a scale and the hills in the balance. You can ask him for things so staggering, so big that God slides out of his chair and sits on the edge and says to the angels, did you hear what he said? Ask him, ask him, ask him for things that are impossible because with God nothing is impossible. Ask him to defeat the giants in your life because our God is a giant killer. Ask him to divide the sea before you and to bury Pharaoh and watch him turn your enemies into fish food. Ask him, ask him to send fire from heaven as he did for Elijah and he will. Ask him to walk with you in the fire of the fiery furnace and be the fourth man in the fire and he will. He said you will walk through the fire and the fire will not burn you. You will walk through the water and the water will not drown you. Ask him. He's the God who cannot fail. He's waiting to show you great and mighty things. Ask him. Pray, pray, pray. God in heaven wants you to have that power. You are made in the image of God. God is not a statue. He speaks, he thinks, he talks, he feels our infirmities. He answers our prayer. He's alive. He's Jehovah Shammah, the God who is there. He's Jehovah Nissi, the Lord who is our banner. He's Jehovah Sh Shalom, the God our peace. Pray. God is in heaven saying, what do you need? Do you need healing? Ask in faith, believing, and I will give it. Do you need supernatural wisdom to make a tough decision? Ask of me, and I will lead you in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Do you need peace that surpasses understanding? Ask, 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 for nothing is impossible to those that believe. No good thing will he withhold from those that diligently seek him. Do you need the impossible? Then open your mouth. Open your mouth in faith, believing. You're not talking to the present of the United States. You're not talking to Bill Gates. Both of them together can't control their next breath. You're talking to the creator of heaven and earth. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He uses gold for asphalt on the streets of heaven. He moves mountains. He divides seas. He'll give you wells you didn't dig, vineyards you didn't plant, houses you didn't build. He will make you the head and not the tail because nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible to you.